Imagine this. You're sitting down to work on a project you've put off for days, maybe weeks. You tell yourself, today's the day. But as soon as you start, your mind starts racing. Suddenly everything feels more important. Checking your emails, scrolling through your phone, even cleaning the kitchen feels urgent. Hours slip by and by evening, that project still sits untouched. But now there's this familiar heaviness, a mix of guilt and frustration. You think, why do I keep doing this? If you've ever found yourself in this loop, you're not alone. Procrastination is more than just a habit. It's something that reaches into every part of our lives, shaping our stress, our relationships, even our careers. Today, we're diving deep into the real cost of procrastination and uncovering why it keeps us stuck, even when we know the price. This episode might just change the way you think about procrastination forever. So, let's start with one of the heaviest impacts, the toll procrastination can take on our mental health. Picture this. You have a report due in a week. You tell yourself there's time, no rush, right? But as the deadline gets closer, something happens. You start to feel anxious. At first, it's a subtle discomfort, but soon it grows. The worry about whether you'll finish on time, the pressure of doing a good job, the, what if I mess this up? Thoughts start creeping in. Before you know it, that once manageable report becomes a huge source of stress, hanging over you like a dark cloud. And it's not just the stress. Every time we procrastinate, we're actually chipping away at our self-esteem. We start to think, why can't I just get it together? Or, am I just lazy? Over time, this guilt and self-doubt can become part of our inner voice. I remember speaking to a friend who told me, every task I leave undone is like a little voice telling me I'm not good enough. The truth is, procrastination can spiral into a cycle of anxiety and low self-worth. And when it becomes chronic, it can lead to long-term mental health issues, affecting our resilience, our motivation, and our peace of mind. So ask yourself, are there tasks in my life that I keep putting off? And is the stress worth the delay? Now, what about the people around us? Here's something we often don't realize. Procrastination doesn't just affect us. It can create ripples in our relationships too. Think of a time when you promised to make plans with a friend or take on a household task, but you kept putting it off. Maybe it was something simple, like planning a weekend trip with a partner, but it kept slipping down the priority list. At first, it's just a minor delay, but over time, those small delays add up and they can make our loved ones feel undervalued or even frustrated. A few months ago, a close friend told me a story about her partner. He was always delaying things, date nights, weekend plans, even conversations about the future. To him, it was just finding the right time. But to her, it felt like he wasn't prioritizing their relationship. Procrastination started creating an emotional distance and soon she began to wonder if he even cared. Procrastination, especially when it affects shared commitments, can build up and lead to a lack of trust. When we delay or put off responsibilities, Others may see us as unreliable, even if that's not our intention. Reflect on this. Have you ever noticed a pattern in how you show up for those closest to you? Is procrastination causing tension that could be avoided? Finally, let's look at how procrastination can impact our professional lives. Imagine an employee who has big career ambitions. She wants a promotion, more responsibilities, maybe even a leadership role. But there's a catch. She often puts off tasks, letting deadlines slip and waiting until the last minute to deliver projects. At first, her co-workers and manager think she'll pull it off. But as the delays become a pattern, they start to notice. Soon, she's known as the person who doesn't finish on time. Career opportunities don't just disappear. Sometimes we unknowingly let them slip away. Procrastination in the workplace can lead to missed promotions fewer responsibilities, and ultimately, a hit to our professional reputation. People begin to question our commitment or work ethic, and that's a hard thing to come back from. I once read about a professional who had a chance to pitch a project idea that could have been groundbreaking for her company, but she kept putting off the preparation, waiting for the right time to perfect her presentation. By the time she was ready, the opportunity had passed. She told me, I realized I was my own biggest obstacle. So here's a thought. How many career chances have we missed due to procrastination? And what if we could break that habit and finally take charge? To wrap up, we've explored three major ways procrastination can impact our lives. First, there's the toll on our mental health. Think anxiety, stress, and that nagging self-doubt. 
Then, there's the strain on relationships. Procrastination can make those close to us feel neglected or unimportant. And finally, the professional cost. Missed opportunities and a reputation that's hard to repair. Here's the silver lining. Just acknowledging these impacts is powerful. Recognizing how procrastination shows up in our lives is the first step to making a change. And next week, we're taking this journey one step further. We'll be diving into practical strategies for overcoming procrastination, with tips to help us take actionable steps and reduce the mental and emotional weight of putting things off. I can't wait to share these tools with you. Thank you so much for tuning in to InfoStream Africa. If you found today's episode helpful or relatable, please subscribe and share it with someone you think might need it. I'd love to hear your thoughts on today's topic. How has procrastination impacted your life? Let me know in the comments below. Remember, it's never too late to take that first step toward change. Join me next time, and together, let's start tackling procrastination head-on. Until then, take care.